Hey folks, a little warm across the valley again today. It's still 100 plus in the western half of the valley. McAllen, Edinburgh, back to Rio Grande City in the mid to upper 90s in the eastern part of the valley. Port Isabel even hanging in there at 91 this afternoon. Dew points lower in the west, so it's a little more comfortable even though temperatures are so hot. 2.79 in Brownsville. That is up there this time of day. We'll put the average of 70 on the muggy meter, but Brownsville up here pegging the needle at almost 80. It's really sticky in the lower valley right now. Low temperatures tonight are going to bottom out right around 80 or so, give or take a degree or two. Breezy early, and then skies stay mostly clear most of the night. And tomorrow, hot again. Most of the valley touches 100. The exceptions, Brownsville and the island at 96 and 88. They went out of the southeast 15 to 25 and a little bit gusty. The next three days are normal. Our 30 year average high is 97. We're going 100 and a couple of 102s. We'll be knocking on the door of the records, but don't think we'll quite get there. Radar quiet again today and future track says it'll be quiet tonight. A little breezy during the evening hours. Then tomorrow, mostly sunny, breezy, hot. You can go windy if you want during the daytime. Going to Saturday, same kind of thing. Plenty of sunshine, plenty hot again with temperatures climbing up to over 100 degrees across a lot of the area and things don't change on Sunday. We're just dry, dry, dry Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and it looks like well beyond that as well. Texas tonight, most of the state's quiet. Some clouds in the middle of Texas, a couple of showers showing up around Houston and early today. There's some stuff up in the panhandle, but this ridge really controlling things, so the rain's going over the top of it, way down under it, up the west side of it, but nothing coming into the middle of it, and we're kind of under the influence of that, so we just stay hot for the next several days. As long as that high hangs out in the region of Texas, we're going to stay hot and it just kind of wanders around and kind of bouncing off the borders, but it's not going much of anywhere. So it just means it stays hot. We look to the tropics this time of year. That's about the only way we can get something to change things. So we look to the Gulf of Mexico, part of the breeding grounds for August systems. Of course, we've talked last week about how we've seen a lot of systems in August come like up out of the Bay of Campeche, like Brett did back in 1999. Alicia in 1983 formed about here, went up through Houston. So it's not uncommon for storms to form in the Gulf. But right now there is nothing out there. It's about as quiet as it can be. Let's go to the Atlantic or the Caribbean first. All quiet there in the Atlantic, nothing out there either. And the Hurricane Center says at least the next five days, it's expected to stay that way. Jump over to the Pacific, it's a little more active. See if you can pick out the systems we're watching. Of course, watching all of it, but one right here has a 60% chance of developing. This other has about a 20% probability. By the way, the uh, NOAA came out with their forecast for the rest of the hurricane season today. Andrew's gonna talk more about that in the next half hour. See how it compares to Colorado State's forecast and what they see for the rest of the season. In the bay, winds are out of the south southeast of 10 to 20 knots. The bay is choppy. UV index is extreme. The small craft operators use caution. A low risk of rip currents. Your first one five accurate with the forecast for tonight, 81. That's it. Mainly clear, breezy, and very warm. And tomorrow back up to 100 degrees again. Plenty of sunshine, hot and windy. Winds gusting to probably 30 maybe even 35 miles per hour. 100, there's a 102, and then another 102, and you look beyond that, and temperatures stay right about 100 through the rest of the forecast period. Nighttime lows, very warm and humid, right around 80 degrees, and your chance of rain stands at pretty much zero for the next several days. That's your updated First Warn 5, AccuWeather Forecast.